Leeds 1-3 Norwich, Mario Vrancic and Team Pucky goals earn Canaries victory over promotion rivals. Norwich City goalkeeper Tim Krull controversially dodged a red card as his side comprehensively leapfrogged over Marcello Bielsa's Leeds United to the top of the championship on Saturday night. The away day specialists stunned Marcello Bielsa's front runners with a goal in each half from Mario Vrancic and another strike from their leading scorer Team Pucky. The Canaries now lead the table on goal difference but Leeds were left fuming after 26 minutes when Krull rushed outside his area at 1-0 and jumped into Tyler Roberts, felling the striker as he lobbed into the side netting. Though referee Stuart at will judged Norwich had defenders covering the goal line to let Krull off with a booking, the ferocity of challenge itself would probably have led to a dismissal if committed by a defender. The pumped-up Krull then wound up Leeds by celebrating his side's second goal and went head-to-head -head with Leeds sub Patrick Bamford as he celebrated his side's win. Looking at the bigger picture however, Leeds must be getting worried that their form is on the way and while Norwich gets stronger and stronger. Third place Sheffield United are only a point behind the pair. Beals's side have now lost five of their last seven games in all competitions while Norwich boss Daniel Fark has seen his side lose only one league game since early October. They have suffered just one defeat on the road all season. Leeds, 4-1-4-1, Casilla, Ailing, Jansen, Cooper, Alioski, Fershaw, Roberts, Bamford 63, Harrison, Clark 45, Klitsch, Hernandez, Douglas 45, Roof. Subs not used, Peacock Farrell, Phillips, Shackleton, Gotts Yellow Cards, Roberts, Roof Scorers, Bamford, 90, Manager, Marcello Biel Sinarich, 4231, Krull, Ahrens, Zimmerman, Godfrey, Lewis, Vrancic, Dryball, Teddy 84, Bundia, McLean 85, Steve Perman, Hernandez, Pucky, Rhodes 87, Subs not used, Hanley, Serbany McGovern, Cantwell Yellow Cards, Krull Scorers, Vrancic, 5, 78, Pucky, 35, Manager, Daniel Fark Attendance, 36,524 Referee, Stuart Atwell with Ellen Road housing its first sellout for two years and the local Yorkshire Evening Post splashing it as the showdown you could smell the anticipation. The teams were first and second at the start of the weekend and both desperate to return to the Premier League where they think they belong. Marcello Bielsa is the 16th manager Leeds have employed since losing their top flight status in 2004, and by far the most charismatic. The Argentine is revered by Pep Guardiola, sits on a bucket to watch games and is thorough enough to ask staff to hide in bushes to watch United's opponents train. Norwich dropped out of the Premier League more recently in 2016, but have also surpassed expectations this season under their impressive German coach, Daniel Fark. The wall of noise that greeted kickoff was like the Ellen Road of old, the days of Billy Bremner through Eric Cantona to Alan Smith and Harry Cole. A minute's applause in memory of ex-lead striker Phil Mazinga and young fans from both teams only added to the emotion. Maybe leads were too pumped up. They started on the front foot but when Norwich broke forward for the first time after five minutes, Swedish World Cup defender Pondas Jansen dived into a tackle and gave Mario Vrancic a free kick opportunity from 25 yards. The Bosnian didn't waste the invitation, his curler striking Adam Fershaw on the end of the wall and looping over Kiko Casola into the top corner. It was his sixth goal of the season. Leeds responded in true Bielsa fashion, at full pelt. Tyler Roberts tested Norwich goalkeeper Tim Krull, left back as Gian Alioski broke forward and flashed a shot wide. Fershaw, meant to be most defensively minded defender in the United lineup, also fired in a strike. Norwich felt aggrieved when Jansen escaped when he caught Marco Stieperman with a flailing arm though the Canaries player wasn't badly hurt. But there was even greater controversy shortly before the half-hour mark when Norwich keeper Krell ran outside his box to clatter into Tyler Roberts and the Leeds forward lobbed towards goal. With Leeds calling for a red card, referee Stuart at will produced a yellow, believing that covering defenders prevented it being a goal-scoring opportunity. At the other end, Norwich threatened only sporadically, but were dangerous when they did. Casilla, 
making his home debut after signing from Real Madrid, spread himself well after Emiliano Bundia rode a couple of challenges before eventually getting his shot away. Leeds didn't heed the warning and after 35 minutes, Nard struck again. The lively Bundia robbed for Shaw in midfield and led a clever counter. Vrancic shot from the edge of the box and it deflected kindly into the path of Pucky who had a tap-in for his 21st goal of the season and his third in a row. Leeds were desperate to get back into the game before the interval but when Luke Ayling did put the ball into the net in injury time, Mr. Atwell ruled it out for a foul by Jansen. Kral had run over towards the Norwich fans to celebrate their second goal, earning the reminder from his skipper Christoph Zimmermann to stay focused in case Leeds mounted a second half assault. Bielsa seemed more energized as he came out after the interval, leaving his bucket to venture into the technical area arms behind his back with a little glare and gesture here and there. The impact on United's players wasn't immediately obvious as Norwich tried to take the sting out of the game. Lead striker Kemmer Roof got a piece of Krull's mind when he fell over dramatically after a challenge from Zimmerman. It was a wildly ambitious claim for a penalty. Bielsa sent on striker Patrick Bamford on the hour for his first action of 2019. But worryingly for the home side. Norwich had a great chance to score their third when fullback Max Ahrens burst forward and shot wide. Roof was booked as Leeds' frustrations grew. Norwich wrapped up their points after 77 minutes when Jamal Lewis crossed from the left and Vrancic connected first time with his left foot from 12 yards. Ironically, the 3-0 scoreline at that stage mirrored Leeds United's win at Carrow Road at the start of the season. On this occasion, Bamford at least did manage a consolation for Leeds by heading in from a corner in injury time. 